Hi, Hagai from Consumer Physics here to get you started with your new SIO. So in the box, you got your SIO, the SIO cover, the optical shade, the small object holder, and the charging cable. So how does SIO work? The SIO sensor has a light source and a light detector. Some versions also have a temperature sensor, but we removed it from newer versions since it's not required for accuracy anymore. When shining the light on an object, the reflected light is captured by the molecular sensor and translated into a spectrum, and that's the object's unique molecular fingerprint. SIO can be taught to provide you with specific insights based on that unique molecular fingerprint reflected from objects you scan. So that's spectroscopy 101. I'll stop here and let's start using SIO. Before using SIO, make sure that you charge it for a couple of hours until the LED light turns green. Also make sure to download the SIO app from iTunes App Store or Google Play. Just search for SIO. Please note that SIO Lab is for developers and requires a separate license. So your SIO is fully charged. You've downloaded and installed the app. Now let's launch the app. When you launch the app for the first time, you have to sign up by clicking the sign up button. Unless you're a developer, then you can use those credentials to sign in. When signing up, fill out the required fields and enter the email, preferably the one you used when backing us on Kickstarter or the one used to purchase SIO online and choose a password. Now turn on SIO by pressing the function button for one second until the LED light turns on and follow the instructions to pair SIO with your phone. You can always pair it again or pair a new SIO from the menu. Now that your SIO is paired with your phone, let's take a look at the home screen. The home page includes the full scale molecular sensing applets that we already developed for you and more applets are added periodically. And from the home screen, you can also develop your own molecular sensing mini applets to identify objects of your choice, like for example, two different white powders. More about the SIO applets and the mini applets in a separate video. Before you start scanning, there are a couple of quick tips I'd like to show you on how to physically scan your objects to get the best results. First, we recommend using the optical shade, especially in sunlight or in the presence of other strong external light sources. The shade can be attached on the sensor or on the cover. When scanning with it, make close contact or touch the object you're scanning. The shade ensures you're scanning at the right distance and angle, and it also blocks external light. Scanning is done by either tapping a button on the screen or clicking the function button on SIO itself. Make sure you give it a short click, not a long press. There may be times when you will not want to use the shade, such as with sticky or moist material like yogurts and puddings. In this case, scan without it and just make sure you're scanning at the right distance around one centimeter or half an inch, and at the right angle, approximately 90 degrees or so. Please note that in order to scan liquids, you will need the liquid accessory that is available for purchase online. When scanning small objects, such as pills, use the small object holder. That helps SIO focus on the object itself and not on its surrounding. Place the object into the holder, and then place your SIO on top of the holder with a sensor facing in, press the function button or tap the button on the screen, and the holder must always be clean, cannot be used with powders, wet samples, or liquid, so make sure the samples you put in it are completely dry and solid. SIO also has to be calibrated occasionally. It would automatically identify when calibration is needed and prompt you to do so. The LED light will also turn yellow and start blinking. The calibration device is located inside the SIO cover. So when prompted to do so, simply place SIO in its cover with the optical head facing in, tap calibrate or click the function button to calibrate. Once calibrated, don't forget to turn SIO with the optical head facing out. So that's it. You should be ready to go. Happy scanning. Thank you.